All right. Uh, hello there, Keto. Uh, my name is Justin, and I'm one of the instructional technologists that is housed at Central Office. And today, what I wanted to do was give you a brief overview of this new service that we're rolling out uh, for the 2017-2018 school year called ClassLink. What ClassLink does is it serves as a single sign-on portal. So once you add a lot of the services and apps that you already use into ClassLink, you can essentially sign into ClassLink once and then have access to all of those apps without having to sign in again. Uh, it does take a step to get to that point and I will gladly walk you through it. And also you have a ClassLink champion at each of your campuses that will be there to assist you as well. Um, I wanted to point out before we begin that a lot of you may notice when you sign into your Caddo desktops for the first time this school year, you may be, may be greeted with the ClassLink desktop. And that's okay, that's what we designed it to do. We were wanting to eliminate you know, a lot of extra transitional time being wasted, provide you as much time to focus on instruction, get you to the right app, the right service, the right website, whatever the case is, uh, very quickly. And if it becomes cumbersome for you, if you decide you don't like having that pop up, you can very easily exit out of the ClassLink desktop and use your computer as normal. Um, but again, we were, we were trying to help eliminate any um, extra time that's taken up getting to those resources. So anyway, uh, what I'm going to do today, uh, just to give you kind of a sense of the direction we're headed, is I want to discuss um, logging in to ClassLink for the first time, as well as any subsequent time after that, how to reset your password, the process of logging into uh, the apps initially. So uh, apps that have single sign-on activated, you log into that app uh, once you're into ClassLink, and then after that, you won't need to log into it again. And I'll show you some customization options that are built in as well. So that's the roadmap for today. Now, again, if you're on a desktop, you'll be sent to ClassLink directly from your desktop, but I'm going to access it from my web browser. So to do that, I'm going to highlight my address bar, type in launch.cadoschools.org, and that's going to take me to ClassLink. And to let you know you're in the right spot, we have a nice big Caddo splashed across the front there for you. And up here at the top, you have our status bar. And the status bar is going to be used for just helpful information, uh, if there's site maintenance, things like that, we can tell you about that. Um, but for the first few weeks of school, we're going to have the login information just to help you remember how to get in. So to log into ClassLink, you need to use the username and password that you normally use to log into your Caddo email or onto your Caddo computer. So remember that the username is the first part of your Caddo email before the at symbol. And I'll show you what that looks like. If you have a password retrieval format and you have that selected, you can you can choose the um, sorry. If you have a password retrieval format chosen, and you choose a forgotten password, uh, you can reset it within the link below, and I'll show you where that is. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and uh, show you what the forgot password link looks like. So I'm going to click on that. It's down here near the, under the sign in. I click there. Let's say I, I forgot my password. I would put in my username, which is my Caddo email, up to the at symbol. And I click this check mark and it's going to take me through the process of resetting my password. Uh, just as a quick side note though, if you do this, when you reset your password in ClassLink, you're also resetting your password for your email and for your Caddo desktops. Um, we decided to link all of those for ease. Um, so if you reset one, you reset all of them, but also you just need to remember the one password um, for your email or for your desktop and you can get into ClassLink as well. If you have questions on this, reach out to your ClassLink champion. Well, let me show you what the desktop looks like. So I'm going to sign in with my email up to the at symbol and my password, which is the same password for my email. Click sign in. And this is what the teacher dashboard looks like. So once you sign in initially, you'll have a few um, fewer apps than I do. Uh, there's some that I added specifically for instruction and training that I do, but um, for, the, for the most part, it will look the same. Um, let's talk about what happens when you right-click. So right-click is a kind of a shortcut to get you to the edit mode as well as creating folders, changing the background, so on and so forth. So if I right-click, I can sort my apps. 
I can choose to sort by alphabet or by type. If I click type, it's going to put my folders up near the top and still sorts them alphabetically after that. But if I just click alphabetically, my folders are kind of mishmashed inside and uh, makes it a little harder to look for things that I've organized. So it's up to your discretion how you, how you choose to do that. Um, also, if I right click, I have the ability to click on new app, which will pull up the Cato SD library. I'll discuss that in a minute. Right click, I can also create a new folder. And there is something I wanted to do. So I'm, let's say I'm a math teacher and I want to put all of my math resources in one folder. So I'm going to make a new folder. I'm going to title it Math Resources. Click Save. Okay, and I'm going to come back to that in a minute. So I'll leave that up there. Right click, I can change my background. There's some pre selected uh, backgrounds that you can do. You can also change the background image uh, right here. And lastly, there's close. Okay, you do have a few more options if you click the edit mode up here. So you can get to edit right here or right here. Uh, but let's, uh, so I created my folder. Let me click on edit mode to show you what's in there. So I can right click to get there or click up here. And then I have create new app or new folder. I can change my icon style from square to round. Change the icon size, small, medium, large. Change the font size. I can change the theme. And the theme really just means like the accent color. So if you're looking up here, I have green. But let's say I want it to be orange. Let's say I want it to be blue. Okay, you can change the color that way. And then I can also access my wallpapers here. So there's two ways to get to edit mode. You can click the pencil with a square, or you can right click down here and click on edit mode down here. All right, so like I said, I created that math resources folder. I need to add something to that. So I want to put Khan Academy in. Khan Academy is not an app that we put on everybody's dashboard. It's not something that when we when we talk to teachers, it's not something we found that all teachers were using. Um, and what we were trying to do is not, you know, go overboard by throwing all the apps that every teacher uses into the dashboard. We didn't want high school teachers ending up with apps that elementary school teachers use, vice versa. So we came up with a solution for that called the Cato SD library. To add apps, you click on the plus sign. And this is where you'll find a lot of the apps that our teachers are currently using. <clears throat> so uh, Class Dojo is one we know that's very popular in elementary, middle, Brain Pop, Kahoot is popular everywhere. But we didn't want to put these on your on your dashboard, your desktop, so we put them in here, the Cato SD library. But again, we're pretending I'm a math teacher. Um, I want to add Khan Academy. Now notice that Khan Academy has this key. In fact, several of them have that key. Well, I mentioned that some apps have single sign-on activated. If they have that key, that's what it's letting you know. If that key is present, then it has single sign-on activated. All you have to do is sign in initially to that service. And then once you sign into ClassLink every time after that, you have access to the app with just one click. So I want to add Khan Academy. All right, Khan Academy is down here but I want to put that in my math resources folder. And the way you do that is you click edit and then drag. I'm going to drag it up to my folder. Hold on one second. A little glitch. If that happens, very simple fix. You just refresh the page, works just fine. So now Khan Academy is added to my folder. So my math resources, all in one folder. Let me go ahead and click on that. So if you're signing in initially to a service that has the single sign-on feature activated, it's gonna pull up this menu and just put in your credentials. And I click save. And it's gonna to try to log you in to make sure that it's right. And so I had my password and uh, username correct, logged into Khan Academy. I just want to verify that works. This isn't something that you need to do, but something that I do for myself. So again, I sign into ClassLink. I'm a math teacher, first period of the day. I know that my students are going to review whatever it is that math teachers review. And so I click on Khan Academy. It's going to show me this to let me know that ClassLink is signing me in. And there I am. So that's what that single sign-on looks like. 
if it has single sign-on activated, you sign on initially, and then every time after that, you can just click on it once and you're in. All right, so let me show you a few more things before we uh, get out of here. <clears throat> Next thing I wanna show you is the uh, notifications. Uh, these will be things that come down from central office. If there's important information we want to tell you about, if there's a change in dates, things like that, we can put them there. We have access to help, ClassLink help. Um, their online support is very good. Um, you can contact them directly or you can go to almost like an FAQ section, frequently asked questions uh, section, and that will help you out. It's, it's very extensive, very good. And then you also have the option for a guided tour. The pencil here. It's just for notes. If there's notes that you want to keep, uh, you can add them within ClassLink and then they're viewable later on. And then I want to go into the profile and show you a few things there. So if you click on your avatar, click on my profile, and you have the general, just display name, that kind of information. You also have access to reset password. Themes and colors are there. Password locker. All right, so password locker is where you're going to keep your stored passwords. So Class Dojo, I'm already signed into. Uh, let me go back to Khan Academy. Let's say that I need to reset my password for Khan Academy. For whatever reason, if you do, you would come back on ClassLink uh, and you would need to change it here because if you kept trying to sign into Khan Academy, it's going to have that old password saved. So you would need to edit it in here. So what I did is I found Khan Academy in my password locker, which is under my profile. I click edit, click edit again my username and my email and then I would just change my password here click save and then it's updated sign-in options you don't have to worry about that approved apps you don't have to worry about that password recovery uh, so this is a big one uh, let's say that you do forget your password um, one of these options will make it easier to um, retrieve it so instead of just changing it if you want to just retrieve it you would need to have one of these options set up so provide them your phone number, recovery email address, or security questions. Um, and then you know, we, we would recommend that you do at least one of these. That way, instead of having to reset your password, which resets email and your desktop computers, you just get a retrieval code, and that should help. Um, okay, so that's in password recovery setup. And all of this is found under my profile, which is found by clicking on your avatar in the top right. And I believe there's only one more thing to show you. All right, so I'm going to click on My Files. So if you're in ClassLink, down here at the bottom you have My Apps and My Files. And My Files is a cloud-based service provided within ClassLink where you can upload documents. So for instance, I have a bunch of Excel files um, that I use for tracking mileage when I visit schools. I have those in there um, that I've saved. That way they're accessible on any computer I go to. Um, you also you can connect your Google Drive to it. So Google Drive is here. Um, and the way that I added these things is I click on Manage Services, and then you would click Connect and sign in with that service. And so that allows cloud-based services like Google Drive or OneDrive or Dropbox. It allows them to be accessible uh, from within ClassLink, but you can also upload documents from Microsoft Office. And let's say that you want to turn ClassLink into a almost like a Google Drive-esque um, service where it's uploaded and synced and all that done in the background. Uh, what you would do is you would download this client, this ClassLink agent, to your computer. And it provides that seamless experience where you can upload documents um, and edit them. And then the uploading is done in the background to the cloud. So what that means is um, with Google Drive, if I open up a Google Drive file and edit it and change it, it gets saved to the cloud automatically for me. This would do that for you, but with PowerPoint, Word, and Excel. Um, and it's all done within ClassLink. So that's the ClassLink agents found in this cloud right here. Okay, so that's really it. That's kind of the broad overview of ClassLink. So we appreciate your attention and your time. I do want to mention one last thing to you. Um, two things, actually. First thing is, if you have questions, reach out to your um, ClassLink champion at your school. If they have questions, they can reach out to us. Um, if you have items that you want added, you know, let them know. We can get those for you. You know, different websites or services that you use. And then the last thing I want to mention is if you're looking at the ClassLink page, you see on the bottom down here we have Get It on Google Play. Uh, so we actually have a Caddo ClassLink app 
that's designed for phones. So if you're an Android user, you can just click on this link right here. That'll take you directly to the Android App Store where you can download it on your phone. Or if you're an iPhone user, you can go to the, cat, the Apple uh, App Store and just search for Caddo Classlink, and that'll pull up the app. You can download it. So that's it. Thanks for your time. And if you have questions, we're here to help. Thanks.